On Earth, the chances of falling into a sarlacc pit are low, but never zero. And you have this insect to thank for it. These are antlions, and they're the architects behind these random holes you sometimes find in sandy areas. But don't be deceived, because these are deadly pitfall traps. Okay, maybe not to humans, unless you're Ant-Man, but to ants and many other insects, these holes are death sentences. Antlions dig these funnel-shaped holes in loose sand. Any insect, usually ants, find themselves struggling to escape if they end up in this trap, as the loose sand and steep slopes make it difficult to get a foothold, being slowly dragged down to the bottom, where the jaws of the antlion await, buried underneath. If the insect is able to get free from the trap, the antlion can actually throw sand up at it, causing the banks of the trap to collapse, bringing it right back to death shores. If you know anything about antlions, you actually might be surprised to learn, like I was, that not all of them make these pitfall traps. Some show different tactics, like hiding in the holes of trees, waiting to ambush its next prey. The name antlion is misleading because this isn't an ant or lion, in case you are struggling to see that for yourself. The name antlion actually refers to the tendency of these insects to eat a lot of ants. They're kind of a lion for ants. It's a bit weird, but it was probably brought to you by the same people that came up with tarantula hawk. Also, all these antlions I've been showing you so far have just been the larval stage or the immature form of this insect. Once antlions grow big enough, they will pupate where they turn into their winged adult form, which looks very different, almost resembling dragonflies, another insect with a very cool predatory larval form, which I'll probably talk about in the future, so follow for that. The adults actually aren't as voracious predators as the larvae are. Some even eat nectar and pollen. The adults are actually quite short-lived, with their main function being to just reproduce, bringing about the next generation of pit dwellers.